Hello, Don in London. November 2nd, my video all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. Yeah, November 2nd, it's almost the end of the year, Christmas coming, and what's it like to be sober today? Well, it's like any other day. Some sort of normal is occurring. So these days, not in the addiction and into sobriety one day at a time, may have been doing it for a few years but every day is different and it's no longer as some people say groundhog day where we have to keep on going over and over the same old ground but even in groundhog day things changed so what's changed for me i joined the fellowship of aa alcoholics anonymous don't speak for aa never can never will never want to it's full of unique authentic people but i do share about aa and how, how it helps me so i go to meetings as frequently as possible and somebody just rang me up and said, do you want to come with me? And I've got an another appointment that I need to go to. Um, so I can't go. But I might get there and see them. So what is AA? I've got a little preamble here, which is on a piece of card. You can't see it too well because I haven't actually set the camera up. It's been a while since I've done these videos live for the day. So I've got to relearn all about my software. And that's a good thing. So AA, what is it? It goes like this. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. It does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And we share that at the beginning of every meeting I ever go to of AA. And my focus really is from this book, which is part of the AA literature, this one called Just uh, Daily Reflections. Uh, just a little bit of wisdom, if you like, on a daily basis to keep us afloat on a daily basis. And. Uh, yeah, keeping optimism afloat is no November 2nd. So for today, the other steps can keep most of us sober and somehow functioning, but step 11 can keep us growing, and it's all about prayer and meditation. And the great difficulty for me was, what do I pray to, and what do I meditate about? Well, pray for the good of life it seemed to be a good starting point for me. And as there are six and a half billion people on the planet, each with their own understanding of a higher power, it's far be it from me to interfere with anybody else's belief system. So I'll talk about my higher power as I go through the month and what it means to me. So prayer and meditation, very important. And it goes on to say, this is about keeping ourselves afloat. A sober alcoholic finds it much easier to be optimistic about life. Optimism is the natural result of my finding myself gradually able to make the best rather than the worst of each situation. As my physical sobriety continues, I come out of the fog, gain a clearer perspective, and I am better able to determine what courses of action to take. So it's all very practical. What course of action to take with optimism rather than being in a depressed state and thinking, oh no, it's all going to go wrong. As vital as phys physical sobriety is, I can achieve a greater potential for myself by developing an ever-increasing willingness to avail myself of the guidance and, and direction of a higher power. And for me that started with, what does my good conscience tell me? My ability to do, to do so comes from my learning and practicing the principles of the AA program. And these are principles, not rules. So 12 steps to help us, 12 traditions to keep us together in fellowship. The melding of my physical and spiritual sobriety, that is being well because I'm not drinking, and being able to have a spiritual life, which for me is seeing reality as it is, nature and providence as it is, and some call it God. The melding of my physical and spiritual sobriety produces the substance of, more, the substance of a more positive life. So I have a better chance in recovery if I'm better able to see optimism rather than pessimism. And it may seem very ordinary to people who are living an ordinary life. And some of us have to find the balance where ordinary is, having been out there. 
in La La Land or whatever it is under the thumb of addiction to alcohol or any substance or any other behaviour so for me it's a good start this morning somebody rang me up and said why not come to a meeting I might get there yet who knows uh, it's all good stuff so I finish with the serenity prayer which is to God good conscience a higher power of your understanding a connection to your inner self maybe where, re where resides the good the good of life. So to God or good conscience the serenity prayer. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference and often the wisdom comes from others for people like me 